The Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, also known as the Federal Lemon Law, generally protects consumers from deceptive warranty practices in the purchase of goods. To this end, the Act requires suppliers that warrant consumer products through written warranties to fully disclose the terms and conditions of the warranties. But what if a supplier seeks to disclaim an implied warranty in its written warranty? May the supplier do so under the Act? The New Jersey Superior Court Appellate Division considered this question in Ventura v. Ford Motor Corporation. In April of 1978, Giuseppe Ventura purchased a new Mercury Marquis Brom from Marino Auto Sales in New Jersey. The car was manufactured by the Ford Motor Corporation, and Marino was an authorized Ford dealer. Under the contract of sale, Marino disclaimed all express and implied warranties other than those included in Ford's limited warranty. The limited warranty provided that the selling dealer would repair or replace defective parts at no cost to the consumer within the earlier of 12 months or 12,000 miles. In addition, Marino promised under the contract to promptly perform and fulfill the terms and conditions of the owner service policy. Almost immediately, Ventura and his wife started experiencing issues with the car, including engine hesitation and stalling problems. Marino attempted to fix the problems many times, but was unsuccessful. Finally, in July of 1978, Ventura went to Marino to ask the owner to take the car back. However, Ventura was forcibly removed from the premises. Subsequently, Ventura sued Marino and Ford in state superior court for breach of warranty, seeking rescission of the contract and damages. In response, Marino filed a cross-claim against Ford for indemnification. Following a bench trial, the court granted Ventura rescission and awarded him attorney's fees against Ford. Specifically, the court concluded that Ford breached its warranty, the car was substantially impaired, and the only remedy Ventura was entitled to was rescission or revocation of the contract. Ford appealed to the New Jersey Superior Court Appellate Division.